straight out of Brooklyn. Of course, of course, you know I'm with my girl Kimmy. Say good morning, Kimmy. Good morning, world. Good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing? Yeah, I know I haven't checked in with you guys for a while, but you know what? It's something. There's there's so much that I want to say, and I'm like, okay, I just bunch it all up in one video, and we're just gonna have to deal with it, y'all. I hope everybody's doing well. Let's get straight to it. First off, uh, this past weekend young woman of 34 years old was gunned down in the streets of Brooklyn on her way to pick her kids up from school. She was pregnant and murdered. Why, you may ask, if you haven't heard this story already, why would someone gun down a pregnant woman? Well, um, they weren't trying to gun her down. They were shooting at each other. And this woman just happened to be an innocent bystander. Come on, y'all. Come on, Brooklyn people. Come on. Okay, my phone is ringing. I'll be back. <laughs> Okay, y'all, I'm back from my phone call. Now, they gunned down this woman in the midst of a shootout in, you know, in Brownsville, East New York area. I think it's Brownsville, but I'll have the article here somewhere in the description. I'll put it in the description box. Now, you know how she died? A couple of numb nuts, and that's one of my favorite words right now, numb nuts. Y'all be hearing that word a lot from me. Numb nuts! A couple of numb nuts decided that they want to shoot at each other in the midst of an area where children, I mean, she was picking up her child from school, so you know there were lots of kids around. This woman took her pregnant self and jumped on the children that were right in her, you know, proximity, close proximity. She jumped on them to protect them from getting killed. And she got killed. How sad. How sad. But you want to know what's even more sad? Y'all ain't going to believe this. So, you know, I'm at the beauty parlor. And, um, you know, the beauty parlor is where it all goes down. Y'all know beauty shop talk. Here was some of these chicks in the beauty parlor talking about. Instead of mourning her and realizing that 13 children are now motherless and a newborn baby, uh, 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 you know, a prospective newborn baby was, his, uh, uh, life, a newborn baby's life was taken, Hear what they gonna be talking about. 13 kids at 34, oh my God. I sat in that beauty parlor, I was like, you know what? This is a cold behind world that we living in, y'all. You think that people are gonna empathize, sympathize with you and be all, you know, thinking about the children, saying a prayer, oh no. It was like 13 kids, she probably didn't have all them kids. They was probably from all different kind of men. Um, them kids, they wasn't getting no good care, really? Uh. I was just shaking my head and did one of them to say something to me. They looked at me. They was like, I'm not messing with her because I was just a... And I did say something. I was like, really? I, I, I just basically said, really? Numb nuts. I'm telling you, numb nuts. Y'all better know that word, numb nuts. So that's very sad. In other news, <laughs> I was listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show last week. And it was about a... Uh, it, was about a it was about a chick, right? Um that had, was having an affair with her uncle. And a light bulb went off on my head because I've been wanting to do a video about family members that hook up. But it wasn't really like that. It, was, it wasn't about, you know, because she deliberately is with her uncle. She knows it's her uncle. She's nasty, bottom line. And he's even more nasty because she's the younger one. And I mean, come on. I mean, you, is it that serious that you have to, you can't get, I mean, what is it? The golden uncle? He got the golden, you know what? I mean, what is it? Like, why would you, of all the men in the world you could be with, you chose your uncle, and then you're going to tell me, I love my uncle, and my mother don't want to talk to me no more because I'm in love with my uncle. Girl, have, listen, have a, go have a seat in a therapist chair, okay? In a therapist chair, because you need help. But my point about it was, I mean, do you know, that I, you know, I, looking into the story, I've heard of other stories where family members have gotten together and didn't know and didn't find out until they got to a family reunion and things of that nature and realized, that, you know, this person knew this person and that person knew that person and they was like, y'all are related. Now, I'm not going to make light, you know what I'm saying, because there's so many things you can say on so many different levels, but my opinion about finding out that you were with a family member, I mean, I mean, if you didn't know, and you know, you were already involved, 
and then you go to a family reunion and, and realize that you came to the family reunion with your cousin. <laughs> I mean, what you gonna do? I mean, the sensible thing to do would be to be real about it and definitely tell, you know, say, well, we can't do this anymore because now we know it's inappropriate. I mean, it could be as serious as you having to get counseling or something. I mean, if you were really emotionally attached to this person. But at the end of the day, we know, I mean, you know it's inappropriate. And then again, wouldn't it take away from the relationship? I mean, the next time you get with that person to go have sex with them, instead of feeling, oh, whatever you feel when you do the do, you're going to be like, oh, my God, this uncle, this uncle so-and-so daughter. <laughs> Y'all feel what I'm saying? So, I mean, but for the people, and I'm going to call them numb nuts, that still stay together and be like, I don't care. That's my cousin, but it's good. You just damn nasty and you a numb nut because there's no way that you could get with someone and, you know, be emotionally and physically tied to them and be like, ooh, cousin. Oh, that's disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. What you think, Kimmy? Mm -hmm. It's disgusting, right? Very. So you got to, you know, I mean, if you need therapy or whatever, but it's an issue and it has happened to people. And you know, um, I want to know, has it happened with any of you guys? Do you know of that happening? And what would you do? I mean, yeah, what would you do? Anywho, guys, um, just want to pass through and tell you guys hi. I'm going under a tunnel. Have yourselves a beautiful, marvelous, spectacular week. Do something good for yourself. If you can't do it for yourself, do it for someone else. And come on, guys, as far as the beginning of the video, can we stop being so cold-blooded and so damn judgmental and so cold-hearted? One more quick topic before I end this video. It's in the news that Madonna, you know Madonna, like a virgin. Ooh, y'all know Madonna. They're saying that she has a brother and her brother is homeless and he's collecting cans in the street, you know, and he's really going through. He was working for the family winery and was let go about a year ago. And Madonna's not helping him. And folks are just going off that she adopts children and she helps organizations. Why is she treating her brother like that? Obviously, it's for a reason. We don't know the story. And there's people in my family that I just do not associate with. And I have my reasons. And I'm sure she has hers. So before we become judgmental, I mean, there's a million things you could think of. But the bottom line is you're just being nosy and judgmental because we really don't know. So, yeah, that's my point about just, you know, stop trying to figure stuff out. Worry about our, right? I think I got too much stuff to worry about on my own to be worried about why she ain't helping her brother, you know? I mean, hey, she's a public figure. She should share it, but she ain't sharing it, so it is what it is. All right, y'all. Have a great, 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 great week. Peace.